Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing something a little bit different today. You know, I've liked to... I've been doing a little bit of, like, different types of videos instead of just reaction videos. Today, I am going to showcase some stuff. I bought in the next couple of videos. Today, I want to showcase some of the books that I've gotten recently and tell you a little bit about them. So, we're going to start with this book right here. Now, this is prob. This is definitely my favorite book so the glass castle by um Jeanette Walls is actually a memoir i think i'm saying that right i don't know i failed english class i failed and this is literally about this girl Jeanette's life her and Basically, Jeanette and her family lived very nomadic lives. Her father was an alcoholic, and her m mom was a carefree, nothing, not, not a care in the world. And so this book is basically her life from the age of three to... Like, like, little through her adult life. So, yeah. So, and one of my favorite parts, and it starts with her getting burned. At the age of three, when she's cooking hot dogs. And then it goes from that to them living. From them riding in the back of a U Haul to living in a town. Moving to town called Battle Mountain, moving to Phoenix, and finally making, moving to Welch, where her horrible grandmother does some things, and they finally make their way to New York City. Everything about this story is 100% true. It actually happened. And, yeah. The next thing we're going to be talking about is her other book, Half Broke Horses. Now, like... Like... The like, like the glass castle, half broke horses is actually also a true story. It's about her grandmother, Lily Casey Smith. and just a sh very strong woman so also a great read and her book and her first book that is completely fictional is called the silver star so 
small town in California, Bing Holiday is 12 and her sister Liz is 15. And then when their artistic mother, Charlotte, takes off to find herself, leaving her, her girls enough money to last a month or two. When Bean returns from school one day and sees a police car outside the house, she and Liz decide to take the bus to Virginia to visit to go see their uncle. While they're there, Liz gets a job working for uh, Jerry Maddox. But unfortunately, Jerry does something pretty bad. So, just going to leave it right there. Alright, the next thing we're going to be talking about is her brand, Jeanette's brand new book, Hang the Moon. Now, I haven't even read this yet. I have no idea what it's about. But I got it because I loved all her other books. So, so that's why I got this one. So, I'm going to read the flap to you. And it says, Sally Kincaid is the daughter of the biggest man in town. Um, born at the turn of the 20th century into a life of comfort and privilege, Sally remembers little about her mother, who died in a violent argument with her father, the charismatic Duke Kincaid. When the Duke remarries and has a son, Sally tries to teach him to be as bold and resor resourceful as their father and as Sally herself, but her daredevil coaching leads to an accident. To placate her stepmother, the Duke casts Sally out of the big house and out of town. Sally returns at 17, determined to reclaim her place in a family riddled with secrets. This is Prohibition era of Virginia. Women has, have won the right to vote, though their lives haven't changed. Slavery is over, but lynching is not. Right and wrong don't always square up with legal and illegal. Sally navigates the factions in the town and within her own family to forge her path. Her journey is a wild ride. Wow. Can't wait to read this. It's gonna be a while because I have something, other things to read, but this is definitely on my bucket list. But that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like before you go. Comment down below which comment down below what your favorite book is and and, and if you haven't already subscribe.